The Paradise Papers have provided a dramatic reminder, if one were needed, of the systematic nature of tax avoidance by multinational companies. Our research at the Tax Justice Network, using a methodology pioneered by researchers at the International Monetary Fund, suggests that the global revenue losses to multinational profit shifting are of the order of $500 billion every year, with disproportionately intense losses in lower income countries where those revenues are most desperately needed to pay for public health and education, uh, among other things. The European Commission is now bringing forward proposals for an important measure that could shut down a lot of that profit shifting. The Common Consolidated Corporate Tax Base, or CCCTB, is designed to ensure that, at least within the European Union, multinationals' profits are allocated as tax base in alignment with the share of economic activity taking place in each member state. Now, with researchers at Aston uh, Business School, Chris Jones and Yama Tamuri, uh, and at Charles University in Prague, Peter Jansky, we've been working to look at the exact nature of this proposal and to see what type of impact it would have on the tax base in different European member states. What we find is encouraging but only up to a point. The European Commission's first stage proposal is simply for loss consolidation, that losses in one member state can be offset against profits in another member state. Now the immediate impact of this, according to our analysis, would be to significantly reduce the size of the tax base in a large number of European Union member states without any obvious benefit except perhaps to multinationals and their tax advisors. Secondly, if the CCCTB is introduced only among European member states, the incentive to shift profits out of the European Union will remain. In fact, if anything, it will be strengthened. And that may again prevent any real benefits occurring for member states. What we find is needed in order for most member states to benefit significantly is to take a worldwide approach so that each member state would take as its tax base from multinationals a share of their profits, of their global profits, in alignment with their share of the global economic activity. And in that way, profit shifting in and out of the European Union would be dealt with. But the caveat to these results, and it's a very important caveat, is this. We also find that the data we're using, the Orbis database, which is the leading international database of company balance sheets, just isn't fit for purpose. It's systematically weak in terms of its coverage both of lower income countries but also the type of jurisdictions that are used most for profit shifting. And that means our results are likely to significantly understate the scale of profit shifting and the potential benefits. But the European Commission is now in a position where they can take the steps needed to get you know, really significant certainty about the actual nature of the problem and therefore the policy impact. Using country-by-country -country reporting, an OECD standard for multinationals to, to report data to tax authorities based on an original proposal from the Tax Justice Network, the European Commission could more or less uh, immediately have a pretty precise measure of the exact impact on tax bases in European member states that would result from introducing the Common Consolidated Corporate Tax Base. If they do that, our expectation is that they'll find very significant benefits to all member states except for the handful, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Ireland, perhaps one or two others, that have really pursued profit shifting to their own benefit and everybody else's loss. But for the European Commission to go ahead now without undertaking that analysis would be at best irresponsible. And so that's the key step they have to take before taking this uh, through the European Parliament and introducing it as a policy measure. If they do that, this could be the most dramatic uh, step forward in cutting down multinational profit shifting that's been seen for decades.